going to blow the well it seems the tag team match is our next match to play and you know since i uh since it's no title involved i say fuck it why not right and you know what i'm going for the revival in this one man know why dash fucking wilder that's why because Dash Wilder is a fucking G knocking out that piece of shit that attacked Bret Hart at the Hall of Fame ceremony a couple weeks ago. Any, first of all, fuck that guy. Second of all, the fact that Dash Wilder did that out of respect, protecting the boys, and lost his championship to uh, Zack and uh, to Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins is bullshit in my opinion. Either way. The B team making their way down the ramp. No title involved here. This is probably, I think, the second time they've actually been involved in a pay-per-view tag team match like this one. And one can only wonder that this is probably another number one contender spot like the last match, like the last pay-per-view was, but hell, I could have made this an Extreme Rules match if I wanted to, but it is what it is. I gotta say, if they uh, if they actually had some shirts on under those and some nice looking pants, I bet those goddamn shiny looking jackets they got would actually pop pretty well. I gotta be honest with y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, time for the men that only care about fists, no flips. I know I said that backwards. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, oh, uh, they want to start this. Okay, they want the fists. I'll give them the fists. Fuck these guys. Let's go. They want to fucking start? I'll give them a start. Fuck these assholes. Yeah, come on, Bo Dallas. Grow you some balls. Grow some balls, bitch. I, I, I'm on Bo Dallas, stupid. Oh, my God. Ah, fuck you. There we go. Big move there off the top rope. Kurt hey, Curtis. Bring your ass in here, bitch. Let's see, how bad did uh, Scott get hurt? I don't think he got hurt too bad. Oh my god. I gotta help my boy out. Get up. Hold the fuck on. I thought Dash Wilder didn't do flippy shit, but apparently he just did a springboard move off the top there. Whatever. And legit question, why are Dash and Dawson not wearing matching pants or matching tights that kind of bothers me they're like one of the best tag teams and they don't even have matching tights who the fuck doesn't have matching tights as a tag team i can't name one team that i know of that hasn't had matching tights or matching gear or anything it just looks weird in this game either way oh my god what a jump what a top rope move by dash that time it didn't work out for him and now Bo Dallas is just fucking... I don't know what these guys are doing. This match has lost control already in the early onset. And now it's in the ring. About time. This match never officially started. <laughs> what do you know? Can you believe that shit? Big move there. This match never officially started. Hell, I could have gotten a bat and it probably would have... Maybe would have ended in a DQ, but still. Add some Extreme Rules flair to the whole thing. Why not, right? Yeah, my boy Scott Dawson with the mutton chops. Mutton chop Scott here. Oh, shit. Come on, come on. There we go. Nice move. It's not often I reverse that, by the way. I actually kind of like that they included that, though. It's nice. It's a nice reversal out of the um, any type of fireman's carry move. Stun gun there by Kurt, uh, Kurt Axel. Get out of my face. And another reversal. What the hell? Oh shit, what, what just happened? Could have made a tag to your boy. Oh, now you made a tag to your boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Extreme Rules. You're watching the third match of the pay-per-view. Prior to this, the Undisputed Era pertained their... EBCW Tag Team ch Championships 
and Asuka retained her women's championship in a ladder match against Nia Jax. Now what you're currently watching is of course a tag team match. It doesn't mean anything, but fuck it. It's fun to play, and you know what? It's, it, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I'm just gonna have a lot of fun. And I'm gonna punish Bo Dallas for punishing me the last couple of minutes, because to be honest, I got my ass handed to me. I don't know how Kurt Axel got that much momentum. I was beating his ass for a good portion of the fucking match. But I think I was from when they were beating each other up on the outside. Big suplex. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So explain to me how I just lost a good portion of my momentum. I just noticed my... Well, not my health. I just noticed my health was like fucking garbage just now. Oh, there's Dallas's health. I was like, oh shit, I still have, he still have a lot more to go, and I was like, oh shit, that's Curtis Axel, never mind. Come on. Fuck. I should, like I said, I should have made this some sort of extreme match, but it doesn't matter. By the way, shout out to Revival in, in another aspect, because... I want. I went to the Trenton show a couple weeks before WrestleMania. I got, was able to get some tickets, and um, I brought my boys and all that. But the point I'm trying to make is, the match, the revival had the best match of the night, hands down, the best match of the night. And they were facing Chad Gable and Bobby Roode. Get this. Get this guy. Another suplex. Why not? Right. I'm gonna get reversed, aren't I? No! Oh, Brain Buster! Holy shit! Um... Let me, let me get a dash in. So I can get his momentum up. So the Revival had the best match of the night with Chad and Bobby Roode. Like, literally, the match was fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. And... I'll never, I'll never forget this. The Revival put who I think was... I think it was either Dash or Scott on the top rope and then the other way around on the other, um, on the mat, and all of a sudden, one guy is going up, and I think it was Chad Gable who was being attacked, oh, that's a reversal, Chad Gable, like, they put Chad Gable up in a pile driver position, and all of a sudden, I yell out very loudly, like, noticeably loud, oh, shit, because I actually thought they were going to pull that off, and I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to do the fucking pile driver, I'm so hyped, in my head, and I'm like, they didn't do it. They teased it, but they didn't do it. But all in all, shout out to Revival. One of my, that was probably one of my favorite matches I ever witnessed live. And I've, and I've never been, I've only been to two WWE shows in my life ever. And that may be one of the best matches I've seen live. So thank you very much for giving me that experience. They'll never watch this video, but I'll, uh, maybe I'll tag them in it. Who knows? Ow. And that's a finisher. Or a signature. Oh shit. No. There we go. Too busy talking. I was getting fucked up by Kurt, Kurt Axel. Curtis Axel. Is it Curtis or Curtis? Kurt now. I don't even know. It should have just been Kurt. To be honest with you. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, big, okay, big code breaker. I got the code breaker in. Uh, one, two, uh, come on, Scott. You fucking hesitated, you fucking pussy. Jesus Christ. Can I get another pin on him, maybe? Oh, no. I wanted to get a pin on him, but apparently that wasn't going to work. And I got Bo Dallas hurt while I got him. Come on. Dash. Or Scott. What the fuck are you doing? This one's getting ugly. What in the fuck are you doing? Let me let me tag you, you fucking cocksucker. Jesus Christ. Well, I had the guy where well, I can fucking take him out. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do? Where's what the hell is his finisher? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE. Oh Jesus Christ almighty. I fuck did I really just fuck this up? Oh, I could have won this match. Shit. And it's not even gonna give me the fucking reversal properly? Oh my god. 
I'd appreciate this game would stop fucking me at every turn, but. Scott Dawson's definitely the worst guy for this right now. Why if? Why am I not reversing anything? Jesus. It's like it pops up and it doesn't fuck and then it disappears. There we fucking go. That's a reversal I want. Holy shit. Oh, there's his finisher. And I just lost the finisher. Because fuck this game, that's why. Oh, fuck's sake. Could you fucking... The B team really wants to fucking win. I gotta hand it to them. It's not often I lose on pay-per-view, but holy shit. Get the fuck out of my face, dickhead. That's a big reversal for me. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why can't I not fucking do anything? Jeez, I go to kick him in the face and he fucking falls? Jesus Christ, this game's retarded. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking asshole. Get... You, and you, you can fuck off too, Bo Dallas. And you're a fucking cocksucker. You're just a fucking cocksucker, aren't you? Get 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 your ass right. So it's just gonna not let me lock onto him, and then he hits me like that. <sighs> Fuck you. Big Russian leg sweep there. Ha! Fuck you. Ha! <laughs> I just got him off the edge of the right ring there. That's gonna come in handy. Oh god damn it, what the hell? What kind of fucking move was that? I gotta get Scott out of there. He's too hurt. And he had and Boa Dallas has a finisher. I gotta get out of here. Thank you. Hello, Scott. I mean hello, Dash. Uh Big neck breaker there by Dash. Oh my God. How do I not have his signature? What the fuck? Get out of here! Ha! Get out of here! Big fucking move. Oh, come on! What the fuck, dude? Come on. I don't even know what fucking move he's doing. He's just like throwing me around the goddamn ring. Get out of here, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Scott, be useful. One, two, three. There we go. That lasted longer than it should have, but it is what it is. The revival may get another opportunity at the unite at the undisputed era down the line, though. I still I feel like I still owe that to them at at most. Who knows? Maybe I might let it happen. Might let it happen on a show in the future before the next pay per view. I feel like I like I said I feel like I owe it to them that they got fucked over. Either way, they're your victors tonight at Extreme Rules. The match wasn't extreme, but it definitely had a lot of fists being thrown, and that's just the way the Revival like it, likes it. Top guys, that's all I can say. Coming up next, the rest of our title matches. For all we know, I don't know, is it going to be the United States or is it going to be the Intercontinental? I don't know, it might be one of those, but whatever it may be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll tell you that much. I'll see you guys then.